side dish week so we are making Easter side dishes this week and today it's gonna be the goat cheese scallop potatoes yum whenever I make these or take these anywhere these are a crowd pleaser and it is the one dish that I have this handy dandy archaic piece of equipment for anyone know what that is no it's not a guillotine it's a mandolin <laughs> for slicing things. So I also have the modern version here. Instagram you can't see, but I have my Cuisinart here next to me um, for the more modern way to do this. But I thought I would demonstrate the mandolin if you have one. This is a great um, recipe to do this with. So I have my blade in there. Of course, safety first, but I'm just gonna use this for demonstration. And I gotta get a firm grip on my potato. Now I have scrubbed these potatoes. Um, another hot tip, um, I always like to leave the skins on things if, if I can. So carrots, potatoes, um, I like to leave the skins on. So I have a brush, it says food only, that I wrote on this brush. Can you see there? There, there we go. So that when I go to scrub things, mostly potatoes, maybe carrots, um, I know I only use the, this brush on food. So um, I have scrubbed all these potatoes so I can leave the skins on. So take your mandolin, because you want to slice your potatoes real thin, and boom, 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 slice, 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 and we're good to go there. So there's my mandolin demonstration, um, and I sliced a few of these. Look how perfect these slices are. Perfect! Kind of like the potato chip slice here. Um, and then the more modern way, the way I did this while I was waiting for you guys, I um, already did some, but you take your Cuisinart, and put your potato in there and go for it. Here we go. In the Cuisinart, I know Instagram you can't see, but there's a Cuisinart right here. Um, safety first, boom. So you can see which way was a little faster. <laughs> so we went with that way. So like I said, my secret ingredient for these scalloped potatoes is goat cheese. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, Constance, how are you? Thank you for all you guys are doing at the hospital. We are making goat cheese scalloped potatoes for our Easter sides. Hey Erin, thanks for joining guys. So like I said, I demonstrated the mandolin. You can use a knife too, but just be careful so you don't end up in the hospital slicing potatoes real thin um, or the Cuisinart. So again, what's going in these, I um, am gonna kind of make this as I go because I like my things to have a little more flavor. Hey Denise, how are you? Annette, good to see you, thanks for joining. I have again making things in these uh, little foil dishes so I can give things away um, as the week progresses. So I have already buttered this dish with butter so it's ready to layer the things in. So I'm going to start um, layering the potatoes in here. So you guys go ahead and chat with me. Hey Florence, how are you? Thanks for joining. Love having you guys on. It's awesome. There's Destiny. Hey girl, how are you? Thank you. I thought I would go for the ponytail look today because my hair is curled, but I got thought I better put my hair back. So I am preparing food. So I put my hair back. So the, the Cuisinart slices here are a little finer and thinner than my mandolin ones, but I don't think anyone's going to notice once we get all the goop in here. Hey, Erin. Oh, side... Pump honey. It wasn't supposed to be on the side, but that'll work. Can't touch it right this second. I'm making food here. 
So how is everyone on their hunt for paper products? <laughs> I just saw Adele just posted that Facebook, uh, Facebook, that Costco has a whole, um, you know, shipment of, of TP there right now. So our Costco is back stocked with TP right this second. I don't know how long it lasts, but it was about 20 minutes ago. Okay, so there's a layer I have in there of potatoes, all thinly sliced. Charlie, we're making goat cheese scallop potatoes, since you just joined in. And I have, like I said, when I make things like this, and I don't really want the onion to show or taste, I grate it on the box grater, so I have um, grated the onion here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of grated onion in the middle here. Most scallop potato recipes don't call for this, but this is my version, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I like a little bit more zip in there than just the cream and the cheese, but when it's you're making it, you make it however you want to. So that's a little bit of onion, and then again, same thing with the, gar with the garlic. I pressed the, gar the garlic before you guys were here. Hey Bruce, how are you? Thanks for joining. You guys should be getting your prize in the mail today. They were the lucky winners. Uh, this week on one of our drawing wi uh, winners. So there we go. So I've got onion and garlic and I'm going to put a little goat cheese. I'm just going to crumple it up in my hands and put it in there in the, in the middle. Yum! Who doesn't love goat cheese? Yeah! And it just makes this dish, it's just the secret. Whenever I make these and have taken them to parties or potlucks, um, people are like, oh my gosh, those scalloped potatoes, they're so good, they're so good. Like, it's the secret weapon. It's the goat cheese. So now you guys can have your secret weapon too for your Easter sides. So we made those sweet potato balls yesterday. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Of course, I forgot to tell you too. They do go in the oven. You cook them until the inside marshmallow is soft and gooey. But they were so good. I ate one because one wouldn't fit in my freezer bag. I was putting them in for Sunday. And so I um, had to eat one and it was just delicious. So highly recommend the sweet potato balls we made yesterday for your Easter Sunday. So there's the first layer, Instagram, see? We have um, potatoes, onion, garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna get these all goofy, but oh well. Here we go, pepper. You guys know I love lots of pepper. So we'll put pepper in there and I'm gonna use the Lowry's. I'll use some regular salt too, but we'll start in here with the Lowry's. Because I know these potatoes, especially since I'm not cooking them right away, you know they're gonna absorb all these spices. Now I've soaked these potatoes because I sliced them right before we came on live. Um, so they're in a little bit of salted water here. I don't know if Instagram can, can see. Hello, my sister just joined. Hello, Julia. We are making goat cheese scallop potatoes and we have our first layer down. So now I will go into my second layer here. How is everyone, every, and anyone have anything? Oh, hey Susan, how are you? Great job this morning. I watched Susan live while I was getting ready on her bling jewelry live that she did. Her stuff is so cute. We will be doing another brunch and bling live as soon as we can. Hey Nancy, how are you? Thanks for watching. We are making goat cheese scalloped potatoes today. So we have our first lay, uh, layer down. Goat cheese is the total secret we uh, weapon in these. So frankly, these don't really need to be beautiful because this is not a five-star French restaurant like they are. You know, you go to the restaurants and their scalloped potatoes are like these beautiful pieces of art. Wine? No, I'm not having wine. <laughs> Why, do I seem like it? No, no wine. Work, I've been working my day job and now I'm doing this which is totally fun. Okay, second layer of potatoes are in and uh, we're going to do another bit of the grated onion here on our second layer. So a little bit of onion goes in and yum. And then I'll put a little bit garlic. We have our garlic going in here. These are going to be yummy. You guys know what we're having for eat at Easter. I wish you guys could all come over and eat and eat it because we're going to have plenty of it. Um, another layer of goat cheese goes in the middle here. Crumble away. Crumbling. What's your favorite kind of potato? How do you like them? 
This always seems to be a hit. We like it. Oh. <laughs> well, you'll be able to see. I'm going to have my stage manager here come on and do my drawing. Today, you should see how handsome he looks. Today, my handsome director. Hey, Joyce, how are you? Thanks for watching. We're making goat cheese scallop potatoes today. So there we go on the second layer. Just goat cheese. I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese on top. And that's it. Getting a little squirrely on these. I'm going to have to wash down my spices. Because look at that, making a mess. A little bit of Lowry's in the middle. And uh, put the third layer on here. Here we go. I think I'm going to have more potatoes here than what I'm going to use for this one, which means just means I can make another one. Yes, goat cheese, onion, garlic, salt and pepper, or any cheese you like. Whatever cheese you have, um, these you can make these with what, whatever you have. Um, but my secret weapon on, on these scalloped potatoes is the goat cheese. But if you have Jack or Gruyere or Cheddar, I mean, who never met cream and cheese and potatoes they didn't like? So we're going to put our next layer in here. They're very thin because I did them in the modern tool. So they're real thin. But we're going to put a layer in here. And then I'll do one more layer there of cheese and potatoes. I think I've got enough to do another one, so I will do another one. Okay. Okay. There we go. You see, we're building up our layers here. This is going to be delish. And then I've got the, again, the grated onion when I want it not to really show much, but you do want a little bit of flavor. If you're a real purist, this is just cheese and cream um, and salt and pepper, but I'm adding a little more into these, so a little bit of garlic and onion in the layers with the cheese. Oh yeah, Constance is like we should have happy hour. Well, we could have another one that's a uh, happy hour themed and just have a happy hour with the with the with with the ladies. I'm happy to. We've got our Zoom account all ro rocking and rolling. Yeah, and the I mean the hospital that we have a dear dear friend who's in in community, not COVID re uh, re re related. And our shout outs go to her. Um, she did have emergency surgery this morning, and she's doing great. So we are very thankful for that. And all the hospital workers that are out there, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yum, happy hour, great idea, Constance. Let's have one. I will coordinate that. See when everyone can do this. So I just have a little bit of goat cheese left, so we're just going to throw it on in the middle here. And, uh, yeah. Put another layer of potatoes on top. And then I will sprinkle this. I have some fresh parm I'm going to grate on top, because like I've said, it's always better when you grate cheese yourself. Um, I never buy the grated cheese because they put that stuff on it that makes it not stick, but it, then it doesn't melt and it's not yummy in your recipes. So always, always, always grate your own cheese. Um, if you have a big block and you only need a little bit, just grate the whole thing while you're grating it so you only have to make the mess once. And then stick it back in, in your fridge grated. It might stick together a, li a little bit, but it's going to melt and um, be much yummier and, goo and gooier if you grate it yourself, no matter what you're using it in that's cooking, that, 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 that you're going to uh, cook it with. Okay, push those down. Oh my gosh. It's going to be yummy. Let's see. How many nights are the three of us going to be eating this many potatoes? <laughs> We're going to have plenty. Again, you guys, we need the smell of vision because this smells so good with the um, garlic and the onion. Okay, I'm just going to push that down. And uh, we're going to grate. Hold on, i got to wipe off my hands real quick. So I'm going to grate this. 
because I don't need any accidents right now. You don't want to be having to see a doctor right now unless you have to, right, Constance? <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so I have a, some fresh parm here and my favorite thing, my little grater here that, um, to tell you the truth, I bought it at the hardware store because I couldn't find one that I liked. Um, at the supply stores, I'm sure they have them at Williams Sonoma or Sorlatov or what, what, whatever. But this one did not come from there, and it works great. So yum! So the fresh parm on top. Hey Carol, how are you? Thanks for joining. And you can just tell the difference right away if you grate it fresh versus use the pre-grated. It's just um, fluffy and yummy. You can tell it's going to melt just beautifully. So there's the parm. I probably should put the half and half in first, but I didn't. Because I couldn't wait to use my little grater. <laughs> We're making goat cheese scallop potatoes for you guys that just joined. And you never have too much parm on top, right? Hey, Tina. That was one of my big win winners. Okay, so I am going to put in, this is just ha uh, half and half, straight up. Recipe calls for cream. I just can't go there. I just can't go all the way to cream and all the extra. And frankly, I'd probably use whole milk, um, but it's Easter, so living it up and going to use half and half. So I'm just going to put the half and half in there until it's um, up over the potatoes. And then I'm going to cook this in the oven for usually over an, an hour, an hour, hour and a half. Um, it just depends. Sometimes it just takes a long time for it to get nice and bubbly and brown. Let's push it down, make sure there's enough cream in there, and there is. Um, I'll probably cover this for the first... I don't know, probably half of the baking, so it gets, you know, all the moisture stays in there. And then at the end, take off the foil and um, let it get all brown on top. So there we go, goat cheese scallop potatoes for our, ooh, whoops, Easter side week. Pour, just poured the half, the half and half out. Whoops, gotta get some more, but I do have some, so we're good to go on that, or I'll leave those there. And today, we will do our drawing. Again, let me rinse off my hands real quick. Just didn't mean to pour all the cream out. Oh, well. So you get on live Facebook. <laughs> okay. My stage manager will come over here today and draw the names. So today, yeah, yummy. It's delish. Um, we are going to give away two things today on our giveaway. Um, we have a first aid kit, thought that was appropriate for that everyone should have one at home or in, or in your car. We have a little portable first aid kit for the giveaway today. Hey Heidi, how's it going? Hey Will. And then I also, all the memes of all the, fu the, fu the funny things about drinking were hilarious. So I thought we'd better do a day drinking and a night dr uh, drinking glass for all the moms out there that are posting all the funny memes about being home with your kids and your husband, but homeschooling kids. So we have a water bo bottle, a little portable water bottle with, with a clip, and then the hide your cocktail, hot or cold, coffee or wine in your stainless steel cup. So the day and the night drinking combo. So we will do a drawing here and see who our two lucky win win uh, winners are today. And my special guest making a, an appearance on camera to, oh, to, sure. Today sure. is this handsome one. Hey, hi to Instagram. Hey, everybody. Who gets the sippy cup? <laughs> the mommy version. Oh, Lynn T. Lynn T. You get the sippy cup. Lynn is also a nurse here in our local community. Her husband is an ER do uh, doctor, so they have been working through this and working very hard. They're one of the people that got one of our dishes early on. So, good. The, our medical workers represented today. Okay. Oh, and Tammy. Tammy, my Orange Theory buddy, you are on. Are you on uh, Instagram? You are the winner today. So, thank you guys for watching. You're missing Orange Theory desperately. But those are our winners for today. So, we appreciate you guys watching. 
Um, thank you for watching and thank you of course to all our, our medical first responders, everyone that's out there still working. And another for the end of our show, the shout out, I opened with the birthday shout out but I'll close with it too. Birthday shout out today to Mickey Kiabu who is the hub of our business. She's our transaction coordinator and she is just the greatest human being there ever was. So we love you and happy birthday. And we wish you guys all the best. Thanks for watching. We will see you again here tomorrow at 3 o'clock for a recipe of the day. And we are doing our Easter side dishes for Easter on Sunday. And if you have any cool recipes, family favorites, um, we'll be going live every day in April at 3. Send me your recipes that you want to share with everyone, and I'm happy to make them. So thank you for watching. Just keep uh, the only two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So remember, just keep a good attitude because you get to pick it. And let's all get through this one day at a time. We love you, and we'll see you tomorrow at 3.